what's going on assassins it's dark strider and with them adding new game plus to assassins creed mirage a lot of you are wondering why they can't do the same for valhalla and i feel your pain i guarantee that if they added new game plus to valhalla a lot of people would jump in a lot of people would be playing it thing is that there are a few reasons why they wouldn't add it but i would still love to see them add it because in all honesty if they did add it yeah i would be one of those players that would be hopping on it i'd be live streaming it and everything you'd be having a good time anyway um some of the reasons that it's not going to come or it most likely will never hit valhalla is number one the game for i mean most people a majority of the players the game was an absolute buggy mess it really was uh you know so many things were broken so many missions you couldn't complete so many things you couldn't uh, uh do perform move it it really had a lot of ups and downs but mostly downs which i really you know that was what i was hoping they would do is add new game plus so that those players who couldn't complete a mission or something like that had a second shot at it there are people that are right now at the end of the freaking game and they cannot play the game they cannot get into it they, they cannot fight the final boss it, it it's frustrating it's absolutely crazy so you know that's one of the reasons i mean some people believe that maybe new game plus was a little bit tough on this game because it was so massive but it, that's that's bs because honestly like i said it it would take nothing for them to add it that's why i got confused that they were saying yeah we're gonna add it after you know the uh after we do all of the the seasonal things and whatnot like all the festivals the yule festival things like that Right now, you're no longer doing festivals. You're no longer supporting the game. So, I mean, why can't that be added? You know? Uh, you know, so again, like, that's one of the problems that they had. Number two, I, I think that they just really didn't know how to add it. You know, like, they had... I kind of feel like the game was done. But then, you know, the pandemic hit. And when that happened... It kind of turned everything upside down where you know you had so many hands in the pot and nobody really knew what the other one was doing so you know that could have caused the problem as well that that could have been an issue where they just too many people were programming too many people and we don't know who did what and what code they used and how they put it together you know so that, that's just another one of those things it's just it's so weird it's so strange the third reason I believe that they're not going to do it is because of the way that the updates happened. Every time they released an update, it would fix something but break something else. The only thing that they really got perfectly whenever they put an update was taking away anything that benefited the player, such as, uh, you know, like the XP mods or, you know, the way that we found how to get all types of scrolls you know at going to every single shop or something like that they they fixed all those things but they really didn't fix the game itself the game is still broken and it will be for some time you know like it, it's just so weird every time that they would fix something though something else would break so there was always an opportunity where hey we're gonna fix this part of the game but then something else would break and then we would see a player benefit there and do something with that like the room duplications things of that nature you know duplicate armor duplicate weapons which i mean you didn't need like a hundred million of each weapon but sometimes it was nice to have two of the same weapon not so much the same gear but the same weapon heck yeah if you had the same weapon uh, you could duplicate whatever you wanted as far as runes went the same thing with the gear and you know they took that away to fix it but it caused other issues elsewhere 
for them to update this game now, I really feel like it would break something else in the game. Because that is the story of what happens with this game. We've seen Assassin's Creed Mirage, we've seen them fix something in there. Nothing else is broken. I haven't seen or experienced, and again, like I always say, that doesn't mean it's not there. But I personally have not seen, experienced, nor heard from anybody that something was completely broken in the game. And if there was, and they fixed it, I didn't hear that there was any sort of further breakage in the game. It just, it worked. And that was it. So, I think for them to update it now, it, it definitely will cause an issue. Number four, with regards to them adding New Game Plus to Valhalla, a another reason I don't think they'll do it is because when they created Valhalla, they really did not listen to the player base at all. I mean, there were so many instances where we asked for something and they said, yeah, we're going to do this, and they never did it. Look how long it took to get hooded combat. I mean, it was at the end of the game's life cycle. And I think that that is a lot of the reason why people yeah. were hoping, praying, and believed that New Game Plus would be coming out. Because it was like, okay, we could play with hooded combat when we get to the end of this game. And that'll be great. And sadly, they never did. They never listened to us. Which, you know, was really insulting to the player base. I think that that's why a lot of people just avoided Mirage, besides the fact that it's more old school than anything else. I, I believe that a lot of things that they did with Valhalla left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So, yeah, them not listening to us, that's, that's really huge. You have to listen to your fan base. Number five, and probably my final point, is that they consider Valhalla right now a dead game. They've already moved whatever resources and whoever in the studio onto other projects. So going back and repairing anything or doing anything more, it's highly unlikely that they would. If I find out, however, that they are doing an update, for Valhalla, I will definitely let you all know, and I'm going to be first in line to pray that they're going to have a uh, uh, new game plus added in that update. But right now, it's considered a dead game. They're not going to do anything more with it, or at least that's the belief is that they're not going to do anything more with it, because why would they? They already made their money. Uh, I know some people are, you know, have just purchased the game. You know, it's cheap right now. Uh, you could get it. it. It's just, you know, like it's, it's not going to get any further support. It would be like if you bought, let's say, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And you added that you just bought it. Because it, it's one of the things missing in your collection. Alright? You can buy it. You can play it. If there's anything busted, you know, nobody will fix it. I, I don't know how the multiplayer is right now. I don't know if, like, those servers are still running or if anybody is even playing it if those servers are still running. Um, you know, if you go back to, like, the Xbox 360, PS3 days, and uh, you bought, let's say, any of the older Assassin's Creed, I know all those servers are not running for multiplayer. So, you know, it, once the game is considered dead, they, they just stop doing everything with it. They'll keep everything, like the store running. Of course they will, because <laughs> who's going to say no to making money, you know? Like I said, they follow the money. And that's not just a, a Ubisoft business model. That's just a normal business model. Companies will always follow the money. They will always chase the dollar. That's it. That's how they're going to do it. Now, would adding new game plus actually give them more dollars to chase would people bug out and be like yes i'm coming back to this maybe i'll even buy a, a, a new skin or two if they're on sale or whatnot of course of course but 
is that going to be significant enough change or a significant enough amounts of money coming in for them to basically quote unquote waste resources on putting new game plus in i that i don't know but anyway let me know what your thoughts are do you believe that they will eventually put new game plus in especially if they see how successful it is in assassin's creed mirage do you think that new game plus will be added to further entries of assassin's creed and do you agree or disagree with any of the things that I have said? What do you think is the cause of not adding New Game Plus? I would love to hear from you. Let's have a discussion on it. This is a discussion piece. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, always take care, be good, business. stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Yeah, yeah.